Time now for five fast facts with Stanley Cup champion, New York Rangers legend, Mike Richter. Mike, best teammate you ever played with. Who was it? Oh, God. I'm putting my glasses on to look smart. Um, <laughs> Adam Graves was perhaps Maybe. the most selfless guy ever. Glennie Healy, I'd put up there. But Adam, I mean, everything from fighting to filling the water jugs on the bench. The guy, there's no thing that man won't do. And he is as good off the ice as he was on it. Um, total hero. Who was the best coach you ever played for? Wow. Man, maybe I was so lucky. Um, a great Canadian, um, Bruce Craig out of Toronto, um, went to Penn and played at Penn when oh. I was a kid. And he coached my brother and I. And there's nobody that instilled the love of the game more than that dude. Um, he was awesome and, and, and a great coach. But I think it's the intangible things that he really helped me with. Who did you hate playing against the most? Um, a little guy named Mario Lemieux um, got the better of the Rangers a couple times. He didn't do much in his career. Um, I loved playing against him, so I, I don't know if this is the right answer, but he was the single most difficult guy to play against. Uh, Wayne made everybody around him well, but he was on the West Coast. We didn't see him as much. Yeah. We saw this guy six times a year, and he's a goddamn nightmare. He uh, he could do it all, and and we've, I he was he was amazing. I, I have so much respect for him. After all your success in your career on and off the ice, what's the one piece of advice you would have given yourself if you could have told your a 15-year-old Mike Richter something, what advice would you have given yourself? You know, that's a great question. I'm asked that a lot. I think I took it but late, and that is you were gifted this opportunity. Never, ever take it for granted because you'll be this old guy one day. And it might end after 10 years. It might end after 10 minutes, but you're privileged to play it. And you can never understand that at 22, but you damn well know what at 42, because it's there, no one's asking, no one's paying you money to go and watch you play. And in fact, my kids forbade me to play in any men's league that was televised because it was <laughs> insulting the family. <laughs> like I, I thought I was playing well. Um, but honestly, that it, I tell everybody from my own kids in college to, 10 year olds this is an amazing game play as hard as you can squeeze everything out of it never ever take it for granted because you're one injury away you're one tap on the shoulder where there's no more contract and um play it while you can because you, you can't play it forever final question if you hadn't become a professional hockey player i know you're an extremely successful businessman right now but what career would you have chosen instead of if you didn't make it in hockey Jeez, I don't know. I, 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 there was nothing that didn't interest me. I loved all sports. You know, what I did love. I wanted to be a, a, a damn astronaut. Uh, I love science, wow. and uh, you know, now SpaceX. Who knows? We may be uh, there before chance. my time's up. <laughs> but um, I, I did. I loved all kinds of science. So it wasn't like I was so good at it, but it just intrigues me. So you know, you do what you love. Five fast facts with Mike Richter, the man, the myth, the legend. Mike, thanks so much for this, man. I really yeah. appreciate the time, and I'm so glad. You look fantastic. You're doing real well in business. You seem like you're really happy. Thanks a lot for all this, man. I couldn't Lucky be happy. man. Thanks for having me. It was awesome. I love going through this with you. Great show. Thanks, buddy.